Hey guys, in this video we are going to benchmark U Eureka 2. So let's get started. So first of all we are going to clear everything from memory. So for that we are opening recent feature. Then we have uh, cleared everything from memory. Now we clear everything from uh, the notification drawer. As you can see, I have cleared everything from the notification door. So uh, let's be secure and uh, we just clear everything from RAM again. And now I I just show you the specs and everything running here. 2.2 gigahertz, uh, no trickery or anything. This is uh, having a battery of uh, which milliampere is not given. But you can see there is a temperature of 29 degrees Celsius, so it's cool. Uh, the device is cool at the beginning of this test. So let's get started, right? Let's clear the other thing from the memory. So I have already done the test, but we are going to run the test again.
Yeah, so anyway, you can see that uh, the score is like uh, 54,000 something ish or 50 ish, uh, 50,000 something ish. So between that, the score will be. And uh, you can see the 3D scores. You can see the uh, UX performance scores and you can see the CPU scores. So uh, it's it's saying like it is a mid-end high-end that uh, transition point, and it can support a very a very high uh, amount of hash and something like that. Yeah. So if we go to like uh, ranking and all, we can see that the device is ranked at the bottom, and uh, if we go to info. We can see everything here, and we can see that the temperature has been uh, increased much. It was 20 degrees Celsius, now it's 33 degrees Celsius. And uh, now we'll be going to another test uh, which I have to install that is uh, Geekbench. So we have opened uh, Geekbench and let's note the temperature now. Uh, first of all, let's clear everything from RAM. Then note the temperature using CPU-Z. As you can see, uh, the battery temperature is 32.2 degrees Celsius. So uh, let's start the computer.
so uh, as you can see the results are uh, what you just saw so this may vary according to your device but uh, you know uh, this will vary only slight like uh, it, it can become like uh, from uh, 4, 840 to like uh, 870 and if you know uh, that much variation you can expect so this is a very good uh, score for this type of form as I just show you there are uh, some of the phones you know Nexus 5 and all which are lower spec than this in single core uh, but in multi core uh, multi core this processor actually crushes even one plus two and you can see that uh, your one plus two is having the flagship processor which is outdated right but you know this is a mid-end processor it just be that it is just before Note 4 Samsung Galaxy Note 4 so yeah uh, you can see the potential here yeah so yes that's it uh, and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you dislike the video the other button also works you know and uh, if you are not a subscriber uh, you should probably subscribe because I, I do uh, videos like this and you don't want to miss that and thanks for watching